what's up everyone welcome back to exotic astrology again and today i will do a part two on a video which i made long 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 back maybe almost a year back the video was on solving conflicts between <laughs> the wife and your mother yes so if you're a man then maybe you must watch this and if you have not watched the part one then please go to the description it's there and i will also post it in the comments all right there i have explained how uh, by using the power of jupiter you can take care of both moon and venus because that's the problem right moon is your mother venus is your spouse all right so please watch that video and then watch this because that video i made long back so most probably most of my subscribers probably most of you who are watching this video have not watched it all right and before i begin as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you are new then please subscribe and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is struggling to solve the problems between his mother and his wife all right and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is also there in the description below so now i had made that video and in that video i said that jupiter finds its exaltation in cancer and then moon finds its exaltation in the sign of taurus so jupiter is the missing link this is one of the secrets which i came to know long back which is also very obvious because lord krishna says in the gita that suridam sarva bhutanam gyatva mam shantim ruchyati in that shloka there is also the mention of the point that bhoktaram yagya tapasam sarva loka maheshwaram bhoktaram yagya tapasam means i am the bhokta of all the yagyas and the tapasyas suridam sarva bhutana and i am also the most well wishing friend of all living entities gyatva mam shantim ruchyati one who knows this is peaceful shantim which means that when we understand the fact that god is the supreme enjoyer controller and proprietor and we are his eternal servants then these problems will not rise which means that in my experience what i have seen is in india or in any other country the wife and the mother fighting over such silly useless worthless basic things it's like so when i see this i feel like i feel like crying sometimes <laughs> i mean it's so ridiculous i have seen one day i had seen in one of the homes where i had gone this lady the wife she said oh i will put this red cloth and then the sasuma <laughs> mother in law she said no you will put the blue there always i have put blue cloth why will you put red today and then i was like instead of red and blue if you if i go and say i put green what's going to happen yes nothing in the universe is going to change if you put a red cloth over a blue or a blue over red or green over red or blue over <laughs> but the problem is the controlling mentality is so strong in people that people feel threatened what happens when a girl comes into the home when the son gets married what happens immediately the mother's behavior towards the child changes yes i am right <laughs> any doubts if anybody thinks that i am speaking false or lies then please write it in the comments you can blast me also as usual <laughs> but i have seen this practically in my experience i mean i am not yet married but i have seen my elder brother the moment he got married my mother's behavior towards him totally changed for no reason i i don't know what's the reason totally changed doesn't mean that they don't talk or they are having they are not having a good relationship i'm not saying that they have a good decent reasonable good relationship as you can expect in kali yuga but there's something which has changed <laughs> and i don't know what that is but there's something which has changed and then sometimes i ask my mother my dear mother <laughs> i sometimes feel that your behavior towards my brother has changed 
why has it changed then she says you will not understand it now <laughs> once you get married you will understand and i'm like my brother is the same he has not changed much after my marriage why are you changing your behavior so no 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 he has changed i said what he has changed tell me <laughs> and my mother used to say oh he only listens to his wife he has had a love marriage blah 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 so and so then i'm like yes he listens to his wife but i think he listens to you also sometimes <laughs> i mean uh, to be very honest i don't think that he only listens to his wife i don't think so from my perspective at least but then my mother said no 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 i know he only listens to her <laughs> so basically i understood the moment my brother got married and my mother also has a quite decent good relationship with her daughter in law <laughs> and my bhabhi my sister in law she also has a good relationship with my mother it's not that they are fighting or something like that there's a there's a very cordial relationship as you can expect in kali yuga this is not satyug that everything will be good but in kaliuga whatever is required that is there but at the end i realized the moment my brother had got married my mother's behavior has changed and she will never behave the same way <laughs> why because the moment he got married she started becoming more and more insecure and this happens with each and every lady if yes then write in the comments if no then <laughs> then also right <laughs> let me see how many feels what i am saying so basically what happens is when the girl comes the mother in law feels threatened because why she feels that i have a hold yes that's the problem i have a hold on my son kabza mera kabza hai apne bete pe my son will only do what i want why yes so basically what is happening is your son is not doing anything it is you who is trying to force him to behave the way you want him to behave that is what was happening so now what happens when your son gets married then automatically you are threatened yes without any reason now there are cases where the boy may not listen to the parents at all that is also wrong that is the other extreme but i am saying in so many cases i have seen even i talk to my friends in the mundane society i am not talking of spiritual communities here even in the mundane society i have seen they also tell me oh my mother's behavior has changed towards me or to my elder brother i mean those people who of my friends whose brothers have got married they also tell me the same thing out of nowhere without any reason their mother's behavior has changed because the mother is totally convinced that now my son will not listen to me the problem is why do you expect him to listen to you see there is where that is where the problem is now i am not attacking mothers here i will go to the wife later <laughs> but let's talk of mothers first yes they are they are seniors so when we are having a void inside us when we are not happy fulfilled content then we will want to use the key on somebody else then we want to control somebody else then we want to control things we want to control people because of this what happens we think that oh this house has been arranged by us i have stayed here from last 30 years and then i am the queen of this home right and then what happens somebody else comes you feel threatened you feel challenged why that is happening because you think you are owning this place that's the reason otherwise have you heard of uh, draupadi saying sometimes oh uttara has come ha huh? abhimanyu's wife and she is going to take over my power my post position my authority have you seen kunti crying sometimes that oh draupadi is very bad she has taken over my sons yudhishthir doesn't listen to me bhima doesn't listen to me arjun doesn't listen to me nakul doesn't listen to me sadev also doesn't listen to me have you 
ever ever heard ladies from the scriptures saying like this no you will never hear them because these divine ladies they are not on a mundane platform they are totally convinced of the fact that god is the owner of everything just because i am staying in a place from last 20 years it doesn't mean i am the owner of this place you may take a loan of 2 crore rupees and purchase the flat but that doesn't mean it becomes yours god says it was mine it is and it will always be mine for 30 40 years it is there in your name that's it after that somebody is going to take it happens all the time so when we give up the mentality of controllership 99% of the problem is solved because then we don't feel insecure then we don't feel threatened and i know now somebody will write in the comments my dear sir it's very easy to say all this you are not married you don't know the moment i give some uh make some video or i give some advice related to this area about marriage and solving family problems the most common reply i get from people is especially ladies <laughs> oh you are not married you don't understand we will see what happens when you get married let me tell you i may not be married but i have seen many of my senior god brothers guru bhai as they say in hindi in sanskrit who have got married in last 2 years 3 years 4 years my seniors in the line of spirituality and they are living like that they are living lives from whom whose example i am taking and quoting so don't think that i have not seen anybody and i'm just quoting things taking some imaginary principles which will never materialize no i never say those things which i don't know or which i have not seen working practically i never say them it's a very big crime you should never preach what you don't practice should i repeat we should never preach that which we don't practice so if somebody thinks that i am just giving big lectures here without seeing the reality oh it doesn't happen in reality to no, know then you are so wrong you can contact me and i will give you names and numbers of those people you can go and check their lives the kind of lives they are leading so basically coming back to the point when we get detached from this mentality of controllership that this house is mine and things will go here the way i want then there's no problem you see <laughs> all the problem is solved then it doesn't matter you make bhindi today or you make chole today it doesn't matter you make paneer or you make biryani it doesn't matter you make coffee or you make tea but when you think that oh i have to keep a grip here that's it because everybody has a false ego remember the father the mother the husband the wife the sun everybody has a false ego so to the degree everybody's false ego is intact with themselves to that degree the home cannot function and to the degree people are leaving aside their false ego and they are coming and uniting for higher purpose to that degree family atmosphere can be cordial and harmonious now if it is not the way then it will be a disaster have you seen families crying fighting cribbing all the time oh my god i have seen so anyways so coming back to the point the summary is very simple that whoever you are if you are a man you are watching this and you see that oh my wife is quarreling with my mother the problem is not there in your wife the problem is not there in your mother also the problem is there in you and your father <laughs> <laughs> all the men are to be blamed for this oh my god why am i blaming men no men actually i am not blaming them i am blaming all <laughs> everybody is to be blamed but primarily the men why because they are themselves not connected spiritually so if you are not connected spiritually to your guru your wife will not not do any spiritual practice take it in writing in paper i am i will write and sign it she may do some fast or some puja 
तंत्र मंत्र हियर देयर बट सीरियस स्पिरिचुअलिटी द वाइफ विल ओनली प्रैक्टिस वेन दी हजबेंड इज अ स्ट्रिक्ट फॉलोअर ऑफ द स्क्रिप्चर्स नो समबडी विल से ओ नो माय हजबेंड डजेंट फॉलो एनीथिंग आई एम स्टिल डूइंग दैट इज ओके इट्स वेरी गुड यू आर डूइंग दैट बट इट जनरली डजेंट हैपन लाइक दैट विच मीन्स दैट If you are a man and you are watching this and you are feeling, oh my home has become like a kurukshetra. <laughs> yes, I am only the Lanka, I am only the Pandavas, I am only the Kurus, I am only Ravan, I am only Ram. If you are feeling like that, that means you and your father, you both are not connected spiritually. So the solution is first you both have to take to spirituality strictly. and then when you both take then your mother and your wife will naturally follow you otherwise if you go on giving them big lectures on spirituality and you are yourself going and watching game of thrones or you are watching football or you are going on watching big boss or you are going on smoking drinking or watching pornography it's not going to work <laughs> don't expect that okay if you don't change your wife and your mother will not change for god sake they will not change anyways <laughs> so i hope i could convey what i wanted to say that if you are a man watching this then make sure you start doing spiritual practices then what happens is your wife will follow you and then tell your father also to do then your mother will also come in line of course it will take time i am not saying it's easy i am not saying it is easy it's very difficult it's easier said than done i know that but that's the struggle we got to do it if not now then never do you want to stay the rest of your life solving conflicts between your mother and your wife oh my god better stay unmarried <laughs> i have seen unmarried people much much more happier than married people being stuck it's like a jail you cannot divorce your wife you cannot throw your mother out what do you do you just stay there it's like hell it's worse than hell actually you are dying basically that is why the second and the seventh houses are known as maraka houses now you understand why parashara <laughs> is given these are maraka houses for a man or for a woman also my god maraka houses it's like dying so don't die elevate yourself <laughs> even if you're dying you can still elevate yourself right so how to do that get up early in the morning start chanting mantras read the scriptures wherever you f- whenever you go to a holy place at least go there first <laughs> okay then you go and associate with the holy people there meet the saints the sages rishis the ho- the people who are staying there from centuries and go and enquire about them uh, enquire to them about that place develop spiritual wisdom like that when you come home from the office instead of putting the tv and watching who won the ipl match see ipl will anyways go on right either you watch or you don't that's the thing we have to understand about all this nonsense garbage the garbage will go on either you watch or you don't tomorrow if i start watching ipl or i stop watching ipl it is not going to affect ipl they are running millions and billions and trillions of dollars one people like you or me cannot harm them or cannot profit them but if we do not take responsibility for our spiritual advancement nobody in this universe is going to do that for us so it is our prime responsibility to ensure that we take to spirituality very strictly very strongly diligently become regular have a disciplined life don't break the four regulatory principles i have made a video on solutions to planets in the eighth house please go and watch that just type solutions you will get three videos solutions to planets in 6 8 and 12 these three videos you much was must watch these videos especially the eighth house video it has got around 10000 views or more than that so when you become spiritual your wife will follow you and then your parents will also start following you and then your wife and your mother they will realize that oh i am not the controller <laughs> and when that thing they realize then all the problems will be solved no no they will not be solved they will be reduced 
you cannot solve this problem <laughs> one of my guru said wife and mother this is eternal conflict <laughs> whatever you do you cannot completely nullify it forget it that's not going to happen and we are not trying to do that we are not aiming for a imaginary idealistic utopian society where your wife and your mother is never quarreling we are not saying of that but at least we can try our best to reduce it but if your wife and your mother is only watching serials like kahani ghar ghar ki kyunki saas bhi kabhi bahu thi the all this nonsense they are showing right oh how the mother in law is wanting to have a hold on the house how the wife is saying oh now it's my home it's my way or the highway and then you are the man you are the son you are torn in between and your heart and your brain is ripped apart into pieces right so if you are watching football and your wife and i've seen families they have two tvs these days <laughs> that's the pathetic situation in kaliuga the men are watching football like uh, like some donkeys yes donkey means without any head they are thinking that oh if this goal goes inside the goal post oh we will become happy right and then these ladies they are also foolishly watching these serials my god so many serials whenever i go home i see oh see my mother is watching some serial and in that what they are showing oh they are doing some controversy yes they are doing some conspiracy sorry not controversy conspiracy is the word they are conspiring against the wife or against the mother or something or the other some nonsense is going on so when you are when your wife and your mother is seeing all this garbage that's what is happening inside their head and as the principle is gigo principle garbage in garbage out should i repeat garbage in garbage out so if they are giving all this rubbish input to their heads then this is what will come out okay so you become strong spiritually and cultivate your mother and cultivate your wife again i'm saying it's not easy it's very difficult but only by this can you reduce conflicts so many marriages get destroyed because of this unnecessary silly worthless reasons who what to cook today today we will cook dal or today we will cook sabji they are fighting on that can you imagine i mean this is ridiculous <laughs> people are not getting to stay in families and then i see so many people they have families but they are fighting on such useless stupid silly baseless reasons and then they are assuming also and one of my god brothers he once told me that he was about to get married and then his mother came to him that night and he said my dear son i will miss you from tomorrow <laughs> and then my god brother said come on mom i'm i'm there here where where am i going and the mother said no 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 tomorrow you are getting married means you are gone i mean and he was like where am i gone i'm still here <laughs> <laughs> so ladies don't assume that the moment your son is married he's gone okay but you can't do that if you are not spiritually elevated so elevate your consciousness and if you are a wife who is watching this then instead of going into useless kitty parties and doing gossip about who is having an affair with whom or who got the new job or who has taken a new property who has got another child who has <laughs> instead of wasting time doing all this use your human intelligence to develop spirituality as in the scriptures it is said athato brahma jigyasa tene brahma hridaya adi kavaye muhyanti yat surya that knowledge was given to lord brahma tene brahma hridaya adi kavaye adi kavi lord brahma got this knowledge muhyanti yat surya <laughs> so instead of wasting your time going into gossip kitty parties yes where women are chit chatting chap 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 simply discussing useless worthless rubbish garbage wasteful material these things in scriptures are compared to sukar and avishta do you know what that is 
don't google you will not find it i will tell you it's considered the stool of a hog can you imagine discussing or gossiping about something or somebody why is it called the stool of hogs because a hog eats the stool of others and his stool is most abominable <laughs> it's like stool getting converted to stool so it's called sukarena vishta and in scriptures it is also said gramya katha na shunibo which means do not put your ears into the useless worthless rubbish garbage of this world athato brahma jigyasa focus your mind in spirituality and then should i sing the brahma samhita again <laughs> no man enough is enough it's very long all right so wish you all the best so if you are a father then cultivate your son <laughs> and then your wife and your daughter in law will follow if you are a husband then please do it man <laughs> i can understand what's your situation and i know after getting married i will be in the same predicament as my brother is now maybe or not yet maybe he becomes in future <laughs> till now everything is fine by god's grace but what to do we cannot solve it 100% but this is how we have to deal with this as they say you will die one day but you can still take care that you don't fall sick so our agenda is not to make a utopian home where your wife and your mother will never quarrel that's not going to happen in kali yuga it's impossible but we can make sure that there is a better understanding and i know even after this many people will write in the comments oh you are a baby you don't know anything you have not get you are not yet married after marriage we will see for them again i will repeat i have seen people and after them only i am making this video all right so there you go if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me to my website the link is there in the description <laughs> below i'm tired man <laughs> okay uh, god is there with you all the time just look to him and <laughs> probably you find him <laughs> no no don't worry you will surely find him okay if you do what i said okay take to spirituality and then your life will improve okay until next time wish you good luck and watch the part 1 of this video bye bye see you